Welcome to D-Light channel this week. Tim Ak is still my name. And the focus of our conversation over the last couple of weeks has been life, life, balance. We now have a few videos on this series. So you need to watch such that what we were talking about today can have a lot of meaning to you. But we will just quickly continue where we stopped last week, which is trying to find answers to the question that what is the significance of worrying about life balance? Why should it be of importance to you? Or on the corollary, what is the consequence if you do not find the balance? And last week we said your ability to find balance in your life is very critical to whether you will be happy or not. Watch it because there is a lot that was said there. Now, that side is focusing on you as an individual. But even for the business owners, making efforts, putting up initiatives, creating an environment where your employees can find balance in their life is actually doing good business. Like I said in one of the past videos, that we do not have a lot of data on this part of the world. But if you look toward Europe and America where there's a lot of research on things like this, it was found out that economies lose between three, 200 and $300 billion annually on incidents that are related to lack of balance in, their, in the life of their employees. So things like calling in sick, things like medical um, costs that the companies has to incur, things like money paid to insurance on account of loss of balance, things like disruptions because critical employees just fall sick or drop dead, and then for a period, productivity is affected. Therefore, for you as an, em as an employer, for you as an entrepreneur, it's actually good business if you pay attention to things that help your employees to achieve balance in their life. And what you need to do is not a lot. It's just to have that orientation that these employees, they are not machines, they are not slaves, they are not animals. The same way you as the entrepreneur can have disruption to, to your life at different times, or you can have different demands on your life at different times, in the same way your employees can also have such disruptions and or demands. And if you won't hesitate to stop work to go attend to your child's health, or to stop work to go show up in your child's school activities, or sports activities, or musical activities, or just even spending time with a sick child, then why should it be hard for you to create a system that, allow, that allows your employees to also do so? Particularly when you realize that when you drain them and make them burn out, you actually pay a huge cost for it. Are, are you getting the drift? The meaning is that if you set up a system where there is a good opportunity for your employees to achieve life, life balance, it will yield you a lot of benefits. Number one is that you would attract very smart and intelligent people because they will be interested to work in an organization like yours. You have no idea how these things play a major part for the discerning employee when it comes to making a choice between employer A or employer B. So you become an attractive employer. Secondly is that you suffer less turnover. So you find that when you attract them, you are also able to retain them. They are happy to stay with you because they begin to develop organizational loyalty, organizational commitment. They begin to wear the brand as if it's their own for the fact that the company allows them to find balance in other sides of their life. Number three is that your work environment gets exciting. Imagine a place where a, 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 a staff where you have, say, crash for, the, for, for, for nursing mothers, the joy with which they will walk will be much higher than if the, the nursing mother is there, is not able to close, and yet her mind is with the child at home. This mother can step out, give a few minutes to the, to, to the child, go back to work, and guess what? 
she may end up giving you more time at work than she would have given if you did not provide such services. And the list goes on and on and on. What are we saying this week? We are saying that for the entrepreneur and for the employer, making in the investment, creating a work ethic, a work environment that helps your employee to develop the life balance that they require is to your advantage. You need to do something about it. So, we have looked at the implications of life-life balance for the individual. We have looked at the implication of life-life balance on the employee, on the employer side. And that then lays the foundation for what we are going to be talking about next week, which is when you now fail to achieve that life-life balance, what will happen? It's very damaging. You really need to pay attention and, and be here next week. And until I see you then, like I said, I'm sure you know somebody who needs to listen to this video. Please share it with them. And if there are comment feedbacks, write in. We are waiting. We are eager. It helps us to know you are out there. And it helps us to provide richer content that are more suitable to your needs exactly where you are. T-Mark is still my name. d is still the channel. And I look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, don't ever forget that all we are trying to do is what? Make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye.